resources you need, the influence you need is hidden in accessing the wisdom of the Spirit. Do you believe what I'm teaching you? I want God to really change your life tonight. It's a miracle service, but you listen. Because many people just shout amen and go back and nothing changes. When I was praying and I heard that freedom, I knew that what most people need is how to access the wisdom of God. I told you, one time the Lord came to me and here was the revelation. He said, son, this is a strategy for you. It's not a strategy for everybody. You would do it and it will not work because it is the wisdom of God that is connected to his will for you. That is why blindly copying is a, a recipe for disaster. Hallelujah. And here's what he told me. Carry your teachings, audio teachings. That time we didn't have any sound to edit. You listen to some of those teachings, you need a lot of endurance. Powerful revelation, but with all kinds of noise, sometimes the volume will go up and down. But that was what we could do at that time. And yet he said, take that teaching. He says, put it online. My angel will take it to the nations. And with it, I will announce you the wisdom of God. That childlike obedience is what has birthed this level of influence that you see today. Now, somebody will blindly go and do that and put everything online. And all you will get is an insult from people. And who do you think you are? And people just insult you until you withdraw it back. Because to you, you are just copying in the flesh. It did not come. That is not the strategy allocated for your victory. Never take any step until you know what God's will is. And you have received the wisdom to make what he has said come to pass. God can give you a vision, and in that vision, you will see a, a duplex. That is God's will for you. He's saying, I want to establish you. Let me tell you what most people do. They receive the will, and then they choose the strategy by themselves. That is why they fail. So the person gets up, and immediately, he goes to collect. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with it. But he goes to collect a loan of 50 million. 100 million and he says I know what I saw God told me now the person did not see a lie but he did not stay with the spirit everything that comes from God to your spirit I am telling you what you see if it's only the will of God that you receive the package was not complete there is still another package coming the wisdom connected to his will hallelujah when we came to Abuja You've, you've heard the story. I said these things to inspire you. It's always been a second home. But now coming to do ministry. Lord, how is this going to happen? But those who know God find rest. Anything he says, you are not afraid of the size of what he has said. Because there is a wisdom component that is going to come. The moment it lands, it deflates every difficulty. And I began to pray. Preparing pray and the spirit of God began to search the mind of God when you design for the next level of koinonia dear father what was the strategy and there it was that file was found in the spirit and when it was opened because he said lo I come as it is written of me in the volume of the book to do your will it was found and the Lord came to me again get the map of Abuja get the map of Nigeria Get the map of Africa and get the map of the world. Begin to pray on it. With childlike faith, I started rejoicing. I kept praying. Pray. That was my assignment. As simple as it is. That was a wisdom. I remember one time, many years in Zaria, the Lord gave me an instruction and I trekked from a very long distance. And all I was doing was just speaking and trekking till I got to some very far distance. And that was the strategy that gave us dominion within that city. Can I tell you, when you meet spiritual men, their pathway does not reconcile with science many times, but you wait and watch the result that comes out of it. The Bible says to those who are called, both Greeks and Jews, Christ is the power of God and Christ is the wisdom of God. I began to pray. And one thing led to the other. Today, look what God is doing. And this is only the beginning. Hallelujah. By the way, let me apologize. I promised last week that I was going to officially launch, you know, the, the project and the funds. I just decided to be patient 
to allow those involved. There are still a few things they need to put together. And I thought it was good for them to put everything together before we officially make that announcement. So pardon me. I, I, I even forgot my sincere apologies for those who have been waiting to give. Just be patient. And hopefully when they tidy up everything, want to do everything excellently and then to launch it with understanding. So just keep praying and I'm sure that everything will be tidied up soonest. But, but are we still together? The wisdom of God. So for someone, you can be praying, trusting God to increase your business. And once you are praying, the Lord shows you the picture. I want to lift you. I want to bless you. But Lord, how is this going to happen? God can give you an instruction. It can come as the wisdom of God. This is what you call Rema. It's not just a word spoken from God. The wisdom of God allocated. See, the Rema word of God is not applicable to everybody. It is bespoke to you. It comes to you as a solution to whatever predicament. It is the reason why you cannot create doctrines out of it. Because it was a word specified for your situation. You can share and God can give others instruction to obey exactly. That can become a rema word for them too. But until he speaks, it cannot be called the wisdom of God. Now, can I tell you this? The purpose of studying scripture is not just to see. It's not just to learn. It's that his voice will come out through what you are studying. And he will say something to you from scripture that relates to your now situation. The purpose of prayer, like I'll be teaching you, the Bible says that we have access to the hidden wisdom of God. That when we submit ourselves to prayer, when it is time for miracle service, what I do is I just start praying in the spirit. Every service really, but I'm praying in the spirit. And sometimes there are already impressions in my spirit. Now I plan. But there are times because I do, there are tens of thousands of people. How for God's sake do you know this person's problem? If you are guessing, you will find out that at the end of it, you will guess and you will not bless up to 100 people out of all the people that came. And you keep walking like that, get ready for empty pews because the people who come to you will not be blessed. But you can see sometimes God can give one word of knowledge and you find 20 people come out. This is the wisdom of God. He knows what their problems were. You watch our video while we're in, I think it was in UK or so. One of the phenomenal words of knowledge that God gave. And then the number of people plus the clothes they were wearing. And all of them came carrying that kind of thing. You don't guess that kind of thing. Not in a territory like that. The hidden wisdom of God that was designed for our glory. Father, what do I need to do for the next level of my life? Why is ministry grounded this way? There has to be a way out. The first thing I need you to know is that for any problem you are confronting now, please find a way of convincing yourself that there is a way out. Say there is a way out. Let the devil hear it. Say there is a way out. Yes, sir. You are not the first to go through financial problems, marital problems, problems with children, problems with ministry. All of this, the Bible says the thing that is, is the thing that was and the thing that will be. With respect to the dealings of men, there is nothing new under the sun. Those who walked out of all their challenges received wisdom from God. Others made blind assumptions to their detriment. The gift that God wants to give you tonight is to grant you an understanding to know how to access his wisdom for all things and all matters in your life. And I'm telling you, you would have gotten a key tonight. You walk out, you stand before storms and challenges and you will smile in advance. Even though you don't know the way out, you pity what is standing in front of you because for as long as the wisdom of God arrives, every mountain must be made low. Hallelujah. When it had to do with finances in this ministry, with all due respect and to the glory of God, I'd seen ministry struggle and suffer, manipulate people, and I said, God, I vow a vow that I will never manipulate and deceive your people because of the issue of resources. But the truth is that you will need resources to do the work of the kingdom. Being a person of integrity is not enough. It takes integrity and ability. And then he brings a strategy 
and to God be the glory for what he's doing today. You see that? When it had to do with the manifestation of the anointing, I remember one time I was praying, praying and asking God. That was when he took me to that scripture that says, follow them who through faith and patience. For me, it did not come as a Bible verse. It came as the wisdom of God. He's saying there's no point inventing the wheel when it has already been invented. There are men who I have worked with. That's when God showed me that the way he distributes graces in the world is that every time he wants to bless a generation, he creates a portal of spiritual possibility through a person and anoints that person by covenant and that person becomes his official distribution system of that grace. Nobody will access that dimension of grace ignoring the position of that individual. Hallelujah. So if you want to step into the healing ministry today, you will be surprised. Even if you are in a village, God will find a way of making you have access to men like Benny Hinn. Even if not directly through their materials. Because by the privilege of the election of grace, they have become custodians of the mysteries of the kingdom. When you want to access wisdom, God will make you to have access to men like Dr. Mike Mudok. The true apostle of wisdom living on earth today. Now it is up to you to discern. You can walk in a lot of foolishness and say, I must see Jesus myself. And foolishness will make you to not even be alive before you see him. Are we together? There are men who embody certain possibilities. That when you find out that your life, things are going haywire in your life, your prayer life is going down and all of that there are vessels that when you encounter i remember one time i gave you the story that i went for a program and they kept me in the guest house in prayer city when they kept me in that guest house i waited for everybody to go later when it was in the night i just sneaked out like an arm robber and i went to the ground and i said father you give men graces a place that prays 24 hours non-stop and has been doing it before you were born and they've not stopped till today. There must be a grace there. Father, let that grace land upon this head because there are many things that I need. When I listened to the material of Dr. Mike Mudok, where mediocres were busy criticizing, some of us were discerning and judging by the Spirit. And we saw that, you see, the truth is that when God has chosen, he has chosen. Yours is to believe and align or argue and perish. Are we together now? And some of us with the simplicity, knowing the, this dimension of God's wisdom, I started to pursue individuals by the grace of God and by the spirit of God. That we're not, it's one thing to be a career, but it's another thing to be God's conduit point of manifesting that possibility. Hallelujah. There are many, many, many people, many people who have not tapped into this wisdom as a man of God. You can see every man of God and just believe we're all colleagues. After all, we're preaching. High five, high five. And you greet, share the grace and go back. And no door is opening. I wish I were not the one teaching this. But you see, this is not human worship. I told you one time by the grace of God, I was praying. We had begun to experience increase, but I knew there was a greater level. And the Lord gave me an instruction. He said, soon I will tell you. And when that time comes, you will go and meet God's servant, Bishop Oedeko. And there is something, there is a grace that you are going to receive. I remember that morning, God just told me, this is the day. I got up and I was on my way to Lagos. I carried a seed. You know, there are seeds that when you carry bar. Even the devil cannot stop you. The weight of you, you, he's going to clear the way and say, the kind of determination this man is coming with. Let me attack tomorrow, not today. And by the privilege of God's grace, I had the honor of going there, did whatever I had to do. And when I came out, there in Canaan land, the Lord told me, place your hand on the ground. I placed my hand there. And he said, from today, you have entered the overflow anointing. Can I tell you? When you carry certain graces, it shows. If you have to tell people you carry it, you don't have it. Are we together? 
A woman who is nine months pregnant and say, don't play with me, I'm pregnant, is most likely lying. Because even if it's a rabbit you are carrying, at nine months, it will be clear. Am I right on that? The meaning of all this is that in the name of Jesus, whatever has stopped you from moving forward, there is a wisdom that must land on your destiny this night. Whilst we're preparing for the building project, I will announce to you, I just said, Lord, building projects of ministries a size like this, I mean, it's going to be so enormous and it is you that grants wisdom. Please, I don't want to ever assume I am still your boy -o. I've not graduated myself to become your colleague. I'm still that boy you found. So come to me as a father and help me. And here was the Lord. Came and brought a strategy. And said with this strategy, absolutely nothing will stop you. And I said, this is it. Absolutely. It's not pride. It's the truth. So you see, those who access the wisdom of God, when you look at them, they will turn around. You will think, what, what exactly about your life produces that result? It is not you. It is something within you and something upon you. He will not suffer my foot to be moved. I carry your mind. Your mind is so full of me. I'm taking out time to teach you. I'm, I'm sure you're surprised that I'm teaching seriously during a miracle service because I want to, this is what God told me. If it's freedom you are looking for, for many of us, what you need to do is to pray and say, Lord, I will wait until it comes. What is the it? Not just the will of God. You already know what is the strategy. Some of you started running without the strategy. You just felt God has called me into ministry. On your mark set, you shot the gun by yourself. Now you've been running in circles for years. Spiritual men stay till they receive the will and the wisdom. The will and the wisdom. Lord, there has to be a way. Now they've increased school fees. Two times the amount. Three times the amount. Lord, you've given me two children. And you gave me 11 others from my relatives. You are the one who asked me to take care of them. There must be a way. Instead of saying, I'm tired, 10 of you are going back to the village and you, you destroy somebody who God was supposed to raise through you. The problem is not the economy. I'm telling you sincerely. The problem is the strategy. You have not received it yet. Lord, what is the strategy for survival? There has to be a way. And in the midst of that prayer, God can give you an instruction. Send a text to this person and just greet him. Don't ask for money. Don't do anything. And you send that text at that point. If you miss that point, you have missed that season. The wisdom of God. is God who knows what is connecting. And the person just calls you and says, you, can you imagine? Your feet is ordered by the Lord. Oh, we are in the middle of it. Do you have a job? They say, no. He said, come. NLNG asked me to bring two people. Are you ready to be the first person? And you just say, I, I was lucky. You were not lucky. It was the wisdom of God. It's naive people that call it luck. Do you know, I have taught you how prophecy happens in the life of people. When I speak over your life and say, in the name of Jesus, let doors be open. Once you receive it. The Holy Spirit moves upon your life as the spirit of wisdom. It is the wisdom of God that translates prophecy to become manifestation. The wisdom of God guides you, leads you, brings a feeling in your heart. I should just go and buy bread in the shop. Why did you not wait till evening? What is suddenly making you want to go to the mall to buy bread? It's not your desire. It's the wisdom of God in partnership with prophecy. As soon as you get into that mall, here is a manager also shopping. If you were to come to his office, the PA will drive you. But God made you to meet in the mall. And you say, good afternoon, ma. Please, can you help me? And she says, ah, this is the wrong place. But I don't know you. Collect my number. Listen, let me tell you the truth. If you are waiting for one to add to one to equals two, get ready to suffer in this wicked world. The probability for your rising will be just a little above zero. 
but tap into the wisdom of God and watch the things that look like coincidences. I have met people today who have become marvelous advantages in my life. Some of them, I remember a man of God who wanted to meet me, true story, or was it a man, a businessman? And he was sitting down and then we were, we were traveling somewhere and all of a sudden I just sit down and this man is saying, praise God, praise God. He could not believe it. He said, Apostle, let me tell you the truth. I've been praying to meet you, and it was very difficult. I knew if I come for Koinonia, it would be difficult. But now, you are sitting down near me, and for all through this flight, two of us are not going anywhere. Now is the opportunity for the guy. Now, it may look like a coincidence, but ask why you were not the one sitting there. Hallelujah. God himself. I told you a story here, a true story, and I'm not encouraging lateness or inefficiency, but someone who woke up late to go, you know, to, I think, some interview or so, and he woke up late, he was already, he, he already knew that that was over for him as far as the job is concerned. Do you know that lateness in his sincerity of heart, he was praying and saying, Lord, forgive me. And he gets to the elevator and finds out that the GM was also going up. He came later and he, co he collided with the man and he started pleading and saying, sir, I'm late. And the man said, no problem. He held his hand and he was the first to get that job. Now, ladies and gentlemen, hear me. I'm not saying you go late, you will not meet any GM. So let's balance this now. I'm speaking to the whole world. Because the Bible said, be careful how you hear. Believers are funny people. They can hear something else while you are shouting another thing. So let me just say it. I'm not encouraging laziness. But I am saying this is how determined God can go to make his wisdom speak for you. If you know this, you will not cry over situations as though there were no hope. Because the Bible says, for we know that all things... It is because of this wisdom that all things can work together. Hallelujah. People have, people have met, collided with miracles in strange places. Hallelujah. Do you believe what I'm telling you? I know a man, true story, who found his business partner at a funeral. They went to bury somebody and while people were crying, he just sat down and one thing led to the other. They started discussing. Today, those people are very, very wealthy people. Funeral. By the privilege of God's grace, there are people God has granted me the privilege and the honor of helping. And it was in strange places, strange circumstances brought them to my life. He will not suffer my foot to be Carry your presence everywhere. Who am I? Your mind is so full of love me. Awesome man. Awesome God. You'll be surprised that there's someone who should help you. And the man will vow and say in the name of Jesus, I will never, never help you. Then one day, the person suddenly starts feeling pain somewhere. And they tell the person, look, the only person within reach to help you is that man you say you don't want to see. You don't want to see him, but he's carrying an anointing that you need. And then I've taught you that every man's need is his point of contact. They will invite you. And by the time God uses you, you were to beg the man for 100,000, but the man gives you 10 million to say thank you for healing me. Do you believe what I'm teaching you? Listen, it's time for you to shake.